Hey everyone, how are you? It's Lori, and I am here to do your three yes or no answers, uh, oracle messages. I'm going to start today with a whispers of love oracle message. So we're going to see what comes out there. That was a motorcycle. All right, so your message here is focus on love. Look for the good in everyone and everything. Look at that dragon. That's beautiful. Let's see what it says. Card 24, which is a six. Six is a, are about balance. Let's see. I'm going to start here. I don't remember seeing this card in all the times I've done readings. Okay, it says, so look for the good in everyone. It is easy for us to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember that they are divine creatures just like you. Re also remember the things that caused you to love them in the first place. Focusing on the love will change and heal any negativity that you are feeling. You may be experiencing a rough patch with someone that you share a relationship with. Work toward turning things around. How you perceive a situation has a lot to do with how you feel about it. I say this all the time. So please be kind to people, no matter who they are or what role they play in your life. There are always exceptions. We know this. When you approach relationships with a positive energy, you reinforce the love that's in your own self. Strive to be supportive and loving and foster the good in others and the return will be tenfold. A wood nymph in this card offers her hand to a dragon. Dragons symbolize power, magic, and balance. The orange, yellow, and green tones in the card point to a relationship, communication, and healing. A situation may feel intimidating, but you have the tools to get it back on track. Now, keep in mind, this is also the year of the Chinese year of the dragon, okay? So there's a lot of magical, powerful energy out there. And this definitely, if you happen to be a Libra, get yourself to uh, today's daily message or general message because this is so important for you. It's just more confirmation, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here for your three yes or no answers. I am going to do yes and no. I will clarify it with a when and how, and then I will finish with the angel number. All right, so let's go ahead and see what your first yes or no answer is. What is answer number one, yes or no? It is a no answer. It says, you tried catching the bird of luck by its tail, but you missed the absolute best moment to do so. However, luck always returns. Situations present other options. And happiness is only a matter of timing anyway. You can expect some sort of huge change in your life to attract a colorful and enjoyable atmosphere. You don't get any luckier than that. What I'm hearing here is because you're choosing. Okay, I, I'm hearing with this, you tried to catch the bird of luck by its tail. You tried to do something and it failed. It didn't go right. An argument broke out. Something didn't work okay you miss the moment all right however that moment of making peace can come back around okay so whatever it was you were trying for is going to come back around and be better than it was the first time you're going to make peace with this in the meantime so if you have to apologize to somebody if you need to take responsibility for something if you need to repair something you're going to do that because when this opportunity comes back around to you after repairing it, it's going to be much bigger and better for you. And you're just going to feel so lucky, okay? And whatever energy you put out, remember, if you find the divine in other people, they will see the divine in you. All right. What? Oh, I've got the wrong deck again. Let's see what your how and when to this yes or no answer is. All right, so answer number one, we got a no answer, but you've got a situation that can take some 
fixing, repairing, making good, being back on the same page with it. And we'll find out when and how that's going to be coming to you. Persevere for a few. I'm getting a few days, four to five days, four to five weeks, four to five months. It's going to be different for each of you, okay? And every effort aimed at creation and growth is going to bring you a delightful prize. You have an incredible gift for relationships, which never fails to invite harmony and success right into your lap. That's why I hear like four or five hours, four or five days, four or five weeks. It's, it's going to be different for each of you. But you have beautiful relationships, okay? And you know how to keep those relationships healthy. Sometimes we say and do things that, you know, we wish we could take back. And we can't, we can't take it back, but we can own up to it and move forward. All right, let's see what answer number two, yes or no, is. It's a yes answer. This is going to be a bright period in your life, and it's going to be filled with warmth and joy. However, the choice between duty and emotions is going to alter your plans by changing your view of the situation. This is the right moment for realizing your true self and overcoming all shortcomings. So in other words, balancing your light and dark, your good and bad, your helpful and your not so helpful, okay? Achieve that inner harmony, all right? Achieve inner harmony, and you achieve that by owning up to whatever has happened, taking responsibility for it, and moving on. Woo woo. All right, so we have here the upcoming events in your life turn your mind upside down for a period of four. Now, four hours, four weeks, four months, four whatever. This is not necessarily a bad thing because adversity and challenges often breed some of our most inspiring insights. It also serves as the trigger for a new life cycle, transformation, changes closing things out and starting something bigger and better. No change ever happens without some sort of friction, okay? Something has to give and cause a spark. That's what friction does is it causes a spark, okay, and propels us forward. You know that. I'm not. I'm preaching to the choir here. All right, let's go ahead and see what answer number three, yes or no, is for you. It's also a no. It says here, behind every single peak that you have climbed, there will always be another peak to conquer. The way is open, but the fog of uncertainty has not yet lifted. Once the wind of change inje injects you with the bottomless energy needed to ascend any mountain, you will discover no mountain is too high, no problem too hard. No mountain high enough. Yeah. Drop the name of that song if you know it. All right. Is that you? Did that just resonate with you? Did that make sense to you? Claim it. Tell me what that song was too. All right. Let's go ahead and see the how and when of this. We have here, the bird of fortune is soaring, trailing news by the tail. There's that tail that you missed. Here it comes again, okay? The bird of luck, the bird of fortune, bird of good fortune, good luck. It's a surprise, and one of your greatest surprises will be finding out that you could do what you thought you never could in only one to two hours or weeks. It gives rise to universal recognition, a rare prize for such exquisite ingenuity. See, you put your experience to wisdom and you caught that bird of luck by its tail the second time around. Here it is right here telling you it's coming back to you. And like I said, it says one to two weeks here, okay? It said four to five months here, and I got four to five hours, days, or weeks. Some of you, it's going to take that long, but it's coming back around. It is going to come back around for you. Let's go ahead and see what your angel number is here. You keep getting a lot of fours. All right, 1441, unique skills. Your life goals. You're on a mission. You have a sense of self. 
you're being honest with yourself and others, and you may have some very important projects that you're focusing on. It's that time of intense self-development that you are going through. Focus your mind on yourself and your crafts, your talents. You already have what it takes to succeed, but practice will make you a master. And I'm also hearing you already have the answers that you're seeking. You just have to let them out, okay? This also serves to help you find your true purpose in life. What makes you really happy? Leveling up in your career or business is of a priority right now. I just heard piranha-ority. Piranha-ority. So, you know, like swimming with the sharks, it might be important for you to uh, level up, okay? It says in your career or your business, but it might be about you're in a business that's, you know, filled with piranhas and you want to level up. You want to get out of that. All right, we're going to get you one more oracle message here. We're going to get you a star seed message. I'm just going to draw from somewhere in the deck. We have the Star Brothers, the Horus Energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Whatever you're endeavoring to do, you we're all connected, okay? We are all connected, and you can count on peace, all right? You are more protected than you can imagine. It's safe to open your heart back up. You're being called to be open to receiving a new level of support now from those in your life and from the benevolent beings that you are connected with, all right? The Star Brothers want you to have a new experience. They want you to feel deeply secure and safe. Even if you're going through a difficult time, they want you to hand over your fears to them. They want you they they want to you to see them as opportunities to let in more love. They want you to see the opportunities. They are guiding you to stay open to receiving a greater level of support than you can ever imagine. To call in your team of loyal protectors and supporters, both physically and energetically. They want you to learn to soften through life's ups and downs, and to learn to open your heart again, especially when it most wants to harden. Okay? So that was important there for somebody. All right. Till our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.